Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. A home cooking from scratch using all fresh ingredients is probably the best strategy to fight against ultra processed food. Now, my video is designed to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system. So you can cook everything from scratch using all fresh ingredients. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you use this system to cook a cashew chicken dish. Now, first of all, is that the ingredient that I use include purple cabbage. But in this case, I do not cut the purple cabbage right before I cook because I use advanced prepping. So this purple cabbage is already available in the refrigerator for me. And then I also use a king oyster mushroom. Again, uh, I have the king oyster mushroom already cut up in my uh, advanced prepping. And this is really essential because this will allow you uh, to have all the ingredients available when you're ready to cook. And this makes it not only it is faster, but also far more enjoyable if you can separate these two steps, since cooking the chicken takes only about five minutes. And then I also have some scallion cut up. I always have scallion. I use scallion instead of onion because it is much faster. However, there are few items I do need to uh, prep right before I cook. And one of them is this color bell, small bell pepper, uh, because they have much longer shelf life when you keep them intact. And so I cut them before I need it, but it only take a few seconds. Another ingredient that I uh, prep right before I start is with some ginger. I use this manual food processor to mince the ginger. Again, it takes only about uh, 30 seconds to achieve this. Now for the chickens, I already have it prepped in advance. I cut them into pieces exactly how I want it for stir frying. But how forever for this after I thawed it out, which takes only about five to 10 minutes because the way how I freeze them, I'm gonna coat them with cornstarch, uh, also with my basic seasoning mix. Because I'm going to use a method called shadow frying. And this will give the chicken a, almost a grill-like flavor and texture. And this method will greatly enhance the flavor of the chicken. So now all I need to do, I'm ready to cook. I use my Cuisina 14-inch standard steel wok, and I use about two tablespoons of canola oil. Now, it is important for me to season the wok because it's a standard steel wok. In fact, you can do it with any other type of wok, whether it's carbon steel or cast iron. The way how to season it, use my spot seasoning method. All you have to do is heat up the oil until it starts to smoke gently for about 15 seconds and you're ready to cook. I use about eight ounces of chicken to cook this dish. And this is the advantage of my cooking method because you can use whatever amount of chicken that you want and since it's already cut up and ready to go, it saves a lot of time. It makes cooking this dish far more efficient than in any other way. And I really like this wok because I'm going to do shallow frying. I need to spread out the chicken on the surface of the wok into a thin layer. The shallow frying method is very similar to deep frying, except uh, you fry the ingredients on one side first. So the advantage is that uh, you only need to use a very small amount of cooking oil. And by cooking the, coating the chicken with cornstarch and my wok with tart basic seasoning mix, it will cause a slight charring on the surface of the chicken. And this gives the chicken a very nice texture. And because of the basic seasoning mix for coating the chicken, it will enhance the flavor of the chicken. The basic seasoning mix uh, is designed uh, to add umami flavor to the chicken. And the end result is that when you eat the chicken, it tastes more savory and it gives you a more better aftertaste. And as you can see here, I use a pair of tongs uh, to spread out the chicken. Because the chicken has been cut up into small pieces, and also I have the heat all the way on high, it only takes about uh, 30 to 40 seconds uh, to have the chicken to be fried on one side. And once that is achieved, then I turn the chicken over and to fry the other side. Now this method is an excellent way to enhance the flavor of your chicken. And it's very flexible because you can coat the chicken with different amount of cornstarch and this will give you slightly different results. And you can also use different type of seasoning to create the seasoning that you want on the surface of the chicken. 
As you can see in here, uh, the basic seasoning mix together with the cornstarch causing charring on the serving of chicken. And this will not be possible if you do not have this coating on the surface of the chicken. Now, while the chicken is being fried on the other side, I'm going to add the king oyster mushroom to the wok. The king oyster mushroom takes a little bit longer time to cook compared to other ingredients. So by putting them over the chicken while the chicken being fried on the other side, it basically uh, gives the king oyster mushroom its uh, early start. Now, uh, the next step is that I'm going to uh, mix them together. I'm going to switch from my tongue uh, to my wok spatula. Now, this will allow me now uh, to stir fry everything together. So as you can see, with a wok like this, you have the possibility to use it in different capacity. And this is the reason why I really like this wok. I can use it as a frying pan at one stage of the cooking process. Then I can use it as a stir frying in the next step. And the end result is that it gives you much greater flexibility. So now the oyster mushroom is pretty much done. And next is I add the pepper. I do not want to, pep to cook the pepper too much, so that's why I add it at a later phase. And I call it uh, sequential stir-frying uh, because in this case you can stir-fry different type of ingredients in the same cooking process but still able to control the, the texture. Next I add the minced ginger. Now you don't need to have the minced ginger, but my wife love it, so I always add to it. And then I add some the purple cabbage. Now again, I do not need to add a whole lot of it, and this is the beauty of advanced prepping because you have the ingredients available to you and you can add whatever that you want, and you know what you don't use, you can use it at some other day. And then I add some the chopped scallions. I really like chopped scallions because uh, instead of using onions, I use chopped scallion. The chopped scallion cook much faster and it will give a similar flavor as you will find in the onion. I'm going to season the dish with a combination of uh, oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. Now, you can change the ratio of these two sauces uh, to create the flavor that you want. Again, it is the flexibility that will provide you with the ultimate control of how you want your dish taste like. Now, the last step is that I'm going to add a little bit of water to create a like sauce. Uh, you notice that uh, I uh, add the water directly over the surface of wok where I have uh, the sauce of other food ingredients burned to the surface. This method is very similar to what is known as deglazing and I call it spot cleaning uh, because actually I'm using the water to steam up the burn material and I use the wok spatula to scrape them off. So in this case not only I'm returning the flavor back to the dish, but I also uh, cleaning the wok at the same time. After the quick taste test, I add a, finally add a small amount of uh, oyster sauce, and the dish is done. As you can see, that cooking this dish requires only about five to seven minutes, and this is why home cooking is important when it comes to efficiency, uh, because if you are coming home at seven o'clock in the evening and you want to have something on the table very quickly. Now, a lot of time, you do not want to spend an hour to cook a dish. You might just put a frozen pizza uh, in the oven or maybe get some frozen dinner. But they all involve ultra-processed food. But in this case, uh, you can cook from scratch using all fresh ingredients. Basically, uh, in about the same amount of time. Furthermore, by having different kinds of uh, ingredients in your advanced prepping, you have a lot of choices how you want to compose this dish. So to make this dish a cashew chicken, which I love cashew, I just add the cashew directly right over the chicken. Again, if you don't like cashew, you can add almond instead. So as you can see, with this possibility and flexibility, it makes home cooking both practical, efficient, creative, and fun. And it is the goal of my fast cooking system. So uh, if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.